grandma's other best and grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern is the best. We're going to make this needle knit dishcloth. This is actually the last one that my grandma was making. We actually call her mama. So today I'm going to teach you how to make this beginner pattern. It's great and scrubbable for your own dishes. Let's get started. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get your pattern from Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth, click on the link below. For the materials, you're going to need a number four cotton. This is Lily Sugar and Cream and White. Or I'm going to use Bernat Handicrafter Twists. This is also a cotton yarn. It's a much bigger ball, and you can get several dishcloths out of it. You're also going to need some needles. You can use straight or circular. I like to use these interchangeables with a cord, and then if I have to pause my knitting, I can just slide it to the middle. I'm using Knitter's Pride Dreams, and it's a smooth birch, and then also I recommend a metal needle so that the yarn slides smoothly. If you use a bamboo, it can catch a bit on the yarn, uh, on a cotton yarn, and could be a little frustrating if you're a beginner knitter, so you want to get something that's going to be smoother and easier for you to use. All right, let's grab our supplies and we'll begin. This video is for the very beginner, so I'm going to show you how to make a slip knot, cast on a couple of stitches, make a knit stitch. We're going to increase, which is doing a yarn over, and then we're also going to decrease, which is knit two together, and then we'll also have a knit three together in the end. If I go too slow for you, just use the speed control buttons to go a little bit faster, and if you need to slow me down, hit the controls to make it go slower. All right, I like to take my tail, wrap it around my finger, leave about nine inches or so. So we're wrapping around our finger twice. One, two. We're gonna take that back loop over the front loop, just slightly, and then pick up the now the new back loop and lift it up and over the tip of your finger, and that's gonna make your slip knot. Take your tail and twist this around to where the tail is towards you, and what's belonging to the ball of the yarn is at the back. Slip it into your needle and just tighten it up. Now that counts as one stitch, that's your slip knot. So I'm just gonna grab this tail and the ball yarn right here in my hand like this. And then with our finger and our thumb, we're just gonna kinda split this yarn like this and pull back. Looks like a little slingshot. We're gonna scoop up at the thumb and then we're gonna go down at the finger and then we're gonna go back over to the thumb, come down and let go with the thumb and pull on that yarn and now we have two stitches one more time only so pull back go up at the thumb over to the finger and down and then back to the thumb down let it go with the thumb and pull it and you got three stitches on your needle now you're going to take it and turn it pick up your other needle we're going to knit all three of these stitches Make sure you're knitting with uh, the ball of yarn and not the tail. So I'm going to hold my tail back here so it's out of the way. Now we're going to go right into this very first stitch. So we're going to go into what I call the front leg of this stitch right inside here between the first and second stitch. Go right in, take your ball of yarn uh, tail here, wrap it around. Okay, so we're going around the needle that you stuck through and then we're just basically pulling this loop all the way through so you're just gonna uh, I like to push it uh, against this needle here and drag it so it scoops up all that yarn and now you see that stitch here and now you can just slide off that old stitch because you've actually made a new one right here that's it that's the knit stitch so we're gonna do that to these other ones go into this one use your fingers to guide you so it doesn't fall off Tighten up that first stitch there. We're gonna yarn over again. It doesn't matter how you hold it over here. You can just wrap around like that to yarn over and then pull it on through. Drop that other stitch, ready for the next one. Insert in, yarn over, pull through. And that's three knit stitches. Turn it over. And now we're going to start our row one. And so we just did a foundation row, but row one is knit two, so we're going to knit one and two, okay? And then now we're going to yarn over without putting it through here. We're just making a stitch on here, just wrapping it around, all the way around. And then we're going to stick it in this last stitch here and yarn over and pull through. So we created a knit stitch here. 
So now you have four stitches on your needle, turn it over and we'll do row two. You just repeat row two until uh, we have the right amount of stitches on our needle. So it's the same thing as row one. Really what you're doing is you're just knitting two, so knit two, and you're knitting that really loose stitch which was a yarn over, and then this is where you're going to make another yarn over. So you always knit two when you start. We're going to make an increase with the yarn over and then knit to the end of the row. And you should have one more stitch, which is five stitches. Turn that around and keep knitting and increasing every row until you get 48 stitches or you can make it to the width that you want. Just do it till you have uh, an even number of stitches. All right, continue knitting. Pause your video. See you then. So we've got 48 stitches on our needles and now we are ready to decrease okay so in this case we are working on row three we're going to knit one and then we're going to knit two together it's also called K2 tog so the TOG is just together. So we've got one stitch, two stitch. We're just gonna go to the second stitch and insert just like we normally do, except you also pick up that first stitch. So I'm working the tip of my needle all the way through, okay, till it comes out the other side and just yarn over as usual and then pull it on through, okay? Just grab both of those, let it fall, and now we're going to do a yarn over. So we just decreased and now we increased again, but in order to get a decrease, uh, in our total stitch count, we're going to decrease one more time. So adding that yarn over in makes this a lacy eyelet opening here, okay? So we're going to knit these two stitches together, go right through both of them, okay? Yarn over, and then pull it through. All right, and then this just finishes as before. You just knit to the end of the row, okay? So you're just going to repeat row three until five stitches remain. Go ahead and continue knitting. Pause your video and I'll meet you at that point. See you soon. We are at five stitches left. You are just going to knit one, knit two together as before. Okay, and you're picking up that yarn over. I find it's a little tight at the end. And then just repeat that again, another knit two together. And you've got three stitches left. Turn that over, and now we're going to knit three together. And it's just like the knit two together, except you've got to get through all of those stitches there. So it might take you just a moment with this cotton yarn. I know, I got that really simply, but <laughs> sometimes I struggle. So I just got it through all three. I'm at the very tip here. I'm just being very controlled about it. And go right over the tip, because all you need to do is wrap around the tip. And then pull it through, all the way through. Yeah, let's do it again. And I'm gonna save that just so you can see that I struggle with it. So pull it right on through. There we go. It helps to really push that tip against the other needle. Get all that yarn, let it fall off, okay? Just gonna turn it around, and then I'm actually going to um, stick the yarn, the needle through there one more time, and yarn over. And I'm gonna pull through a long loop, and I'll end up pulling this loop all the way through. Just take my scissors and cut it, and then just continue pulling. And we're just gonna fasten that off by tightening it up, okay? And then just use your tapestry needle. And weave in your stitches. I have a video for how to do that in garter stitch uh, so I'll put the uh, link either up here or down below or both so you'll just uh, weave this in get past all these yarn overs and put it in right here and kind of weave it in here and it will disappear and then you have the one from the very beginning. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please be sure and subscribe and comment below to let us know. We've also got more patterns for you and more video knit alongs, so please click on the playlist 
for more. And if you'd like to be a member and get free patterns and other perks like badges and stickers, plus more, be sure and click to join below as well. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.